Hi, it's Garrett from In Your Pocket, and today we are going to take you on the Chemionki route of our Podguja walking tour. One of six walking tours you'll find in our new Krakow City Guide. This walking tour is going to be about three kilometers, and if we time this right, we should be on Krakow's Mound, the end of the tour, at exactly sunset. Let's go. Up, oh, hang on. Before we get going, if you're interested in more English language content on Krakow in Poland, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell for notifications. And we invite you to join our Crack Within Your Pocket communities on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks. Now let's get back to Podguja. This is St. Joseph's Church, the primary house of worship in Podguja. It was built in 1905 to 1909 by Jan Sas Zubzycki, I believe. So, in addition to being one of the most beautiful buildings in Podguja, uh, my favorite part of this church, not being a huge church guy myself, is uh, this little sculpture park here in the back, which you can easily access. It's open to the public and it's full of really nice sculptures, benches, nice place to relax. It's just nice. How many churches have a nice little garden like this? We're at the second point on the Chemiolki route, which is Platz Niepodligoszczy, Independent Square. Podguja claims to have been the first part of Poland to be to have been liberated after World War I and, you know, when Poland got back on the map again. If you want to know more about that, it's a long story, so I'm not going to bore you with it now. But it's in our guide. It was uh, the work of that man there, Antoni Stavaj. He's the one who led the uh, Polish soldiers who liberated Podguja. Now we're in Park Bednarski, arguably the nicest park in Krakow. I encourage anybody who comes to, uh, to Podguja to check out the entire like park area, especially going that way. We're gonna go east, but it's beautiful, gets really wild, and it's a great place to explore. Now we're on Platz La Salta. Some of the nicest villas in the neighborhood are here, especially these first three houses here on uh, Platz La Salta. Really nice buildings. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Before we go down there, I just wanted to point out that this is one of the most affluent parts of the neighborhood today, and that's why you see all these villas here. But this, back in the day, was like Gallows Hill, and you can learn more about that in our guide, including, you know, why it's called Gallows Hill, how many, you know, people were dismembered into and whatnot. Now we're gonna go down the rainbow stairs. Now we're on uh, Lesota Hill. This hill, this like upland here, was actually connected to uh, the same hill that Kopitz Karkus is on, Cracks Mound, that's where we're headed. And this church here, St. Benedict's, was built here in 11th century, basically to, you know, throw some shade on the pagan rituals that were taking place on the mound back in those days. And although you can't see it now through the lush vegetation uh, St. Benedict's Fort is just through the trees here. It's a really unique, like, um, Maximilian Tower style fort. Anyway, those are the two main points of interest here as we continue our walk towards the mound. One of the cool features of our guide are these choose your own adventure opportunities where you have, like, several choices on which path to take. One of them actually goes this way. If you were to take this path, you would see the uh, old Podguja Cemetery is just right through the trees here. And part of the former ghetto wall is just like meters that way. But we're actually gonna go this way. Hark, yonder lies the mound. Yeah, there's already quite a crowd, it looks like, forming up there for the sunset, so not, we're not, our idea is not as original as I thought. Obviously, they all have this. Look at that sun, oh my god. Holy 
crap, there's a lot of people here. Perfect timing though. It's just about to kiss the horizon. So, if you're coming to Krakow and you want a copy of this guide, head to the link in the description and see you in Krakow.